Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water inlet valve in the Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a half inch wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water inlet valve and a nut. The water inlet valve supplies water to the water dispenser and the ice maker. The main reasons why the water inlet valve would need to be replaced are because when it breaks, water either doesn't come through or runs non-stop, causing flooding. We need to remove the rear access panel. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the screws and lift the access panel off the hooks. Here is the water inlet valve on the right. Place a small towel under the valve. Remove the Phillips screw and pull out the water valve assembly. Take a picture of the water valve and the way it's connected. Make sure that the water is turned off and using the half inch wrench, unscrew the nut and remove the water line from the top of the valve. Pull the two connectors from the solenoids, unscrew and remove the two water lines from the valve. Press the tab and disconnect the wire harness plug. This is the old water inlet valve next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Pull off the old nut from the blue tube and slide the new one on. Connect both tubes with the plastic nuts to the water valve. You can't make a mistake because they are different sizes. Refer to the picture you took earlier if you're not sure. Attach two connector plugs to the solenoids and the wire harness plug. Again, if you are not sure, refer to the picture. Install the blue water line on the top of the valve and tighten it with a half inch wrench. Install the water inlet valve and secure it with the Phillips screw. At this point, turn the water on, plug the fridge back in and make sure everything works and there's no water leaks. Install the rear access panel and secure it with its Phillips screws. And now we can enjoy some ice cold drinks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.